Hello all, I'm Josh, it's a Josh Build Stuff, and it's an exciting time for new LEGO releases because in the words of NSYNC or the Green Goblin choosing his next victim, it's gonna be May. And with just about every new month at this point comes a bunch of new LEGO sets. There are 18 total sets about to release for about $1,200 if you were to buy everything available here. However, I think the majority of people here are really just here for a little franchise called Star Wars. Obviously, May the 4th is coming up. LEGO knows that this is a big money-making time for them and a big money spending time for all of us. The big release here is obviously the UCS X-Wing for a reasonable price for UCS set standards. We also have the Gifts with Purchase officially revealed. This little Death Star we get if we spend $150 on LEGO Star Wars. There's this VIP coin set and like data card with like the Death Star plans on it. Double VIP points on Star Wars stuff. And then you get a little Polybag X-Wing that has been out forever and it's only five bucks. What are the Star Wars sets that are actually releasing today? Well, there's more than just Star Wars about to come out today. We said the UCS X-Wing, there's also this weird space set. There's also a new Little Mermaid giant set, a video game, another Little Mermaid set, a couple of keychains, a Duplo set, a Technic vehicle, some brick heads, also Star Wars, two new Star Wars dioramas, a snub fighter, Disney minifigures, very exciting, this Executor, Super Star Destroyer, and a uh, little Ant-Man. A big Ant-Man. I can't tell if he's big or little. He's a buildable Ant-Man. There's a lot coming out. Unfortunately for me, I'm a fan of a lot of different things. So today we're going to go through and rank all of the sets that are about to release and we're going to decide if we're going to buy them or not. We do this just about every month. I try to be objective, but this is an entirely subjective list. Just talking about what I plan to buy. So let's start ranking these. You can see my categories along the left side there, whether or not I'll buy them early, eventually, or probably never at all. The big release and honestly the one that I'm most excited about here, it's it's the UCS X-Wing Starfighter. It is $240 for just under 2,000 pieces. This feels like a $200 set, but I'm still not quite used to this new LEGO Star Wars pricing. I think a lot has already been seen about this set online. A lot of people are saying it's actually kind of small. Personally, I'm grateful for a another reasonably sized UCS set. I, I also, I'm not in the camp where I say we've gotten too many X-Wings or whatnot. I think LEGO recognizes that there's an entirely new audience that that they can cater to now and a lot of people don't have that original and a lot of people are going to be itching at the bit to get this one. I am one of those people. So this one is one that I am planning to buy for sure. That one's going on day one. And this may surprise some people. There's not actually a lot else going into day one for me. So let's pad the category a bit and make it look better. We get that little gift with purchase Death Star that I'm going to get as a gift and then the little poly bag. I'll get that too. And then also there's some other poly bags that are, I don't know if they're just coming out, but I'm just finding them in store and I've already bought several of them. The little McLaren Speed Champions car, little Harry Potter Quidditch set, little Minecraft set. I already have several of all of those. So those are day negative seven or whatever day it is today. This little set, just to briefly glance at it, I mean, a lot of people are, I don't know, they're weird about this one. I, I've heard a lot of varying opinions about this one. Personally, I like these little display sets and I, I mean, I've always wanted that Death Star 2, the big version. So uh, this is, a, I think this would be a great little desk ornament, especially for free. Continuing down this Star Wars rabbit hole, Lego is giving us two new dioramas. One is this little Emperor's throne room, decent looking environment, decent mini figures. We're obviously celebrating the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, but is that little decent set worth $100 to you? Uh, we've also got the indoor speeder chase diorama. It's not actually indoor, it's actually an outdoor speeder chase, but they'll get that right eventually. We've been celebrating this movie again for 40 years. I think this is a great little scene and a cool little depiction, but again, is this couple of speeder bikes and decent and a couple of trees worth $80 to you? Um, here, is it worth that to me? Um, I'm, I'm gonna say want won't buy for that one and I'm gonna say soon for the indoor chase only because I kind of want to make a video about it kind of exploring this whole idea of dioramas and their true worth but uh, that one I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about. Next the Executor Super Star Destroyer that's how you pronounce it Executor just like the Pokemon this one it's cool as a ship it's great I think this is a great little display piece again it comes down to whether or not this is worth $70 for me this one I think I will pick up eventually, but I'm like by my tone you can tell I'm not super excited about it. I is super star destroyer that I'm mildly excited about. Pirate Snub Fighter from The Mandalorian because LEGO has to throw in something affordable for the kids these days that's not in a black box. This one is only $35. I think I will probably grab this one off the shelf eventually, but I don't know when because next month in June and all these other months following this month of May, there's just even more new LEGO coming out. You know, it's not as exciting. It's um, a bunch of brickheads. I, the thing is, Lego hooked me early with brickheads. They're like, oh, Star Wars figures, ooh, Disney figures. But now I'm like, well, I gotta continue getting the 
the new ones as they come out and to, to complete the collection, right? Legos, ooh, they got you. I'm gonna put that on eventually. I'm not in a hurry to get it. There's also some keychains um, that I'm gonna say want, won't buy only because, I mean, I want anything Star Wars, really. But I mean, I, I don't need more keychains. And that does it for Lego Star Wars sets. Thank you to those Lego Star Wars fans who have made it this far into the video, but you may be surprised to know that there's other sets coming out right now at the same time as Star Wars stuff because, like I said, Lego is smart and they know that not everyone's gonna pick up all the Star Wars sets so they throw a couple of other random sets in there and here's a fun thing I saw every single one of these Star Wars sets at Walmart like two days ago I don't know if I if they were all street dated or not but I looked at all those sets and said I could get any of these early and you know what set I picked up not a Star Wars set. Ant-Man is a construction figure set, one of these like buildable figure things. That's not the set I picked up either, but he's also coming out. I mean, I, I'm gonna put eventually, whatever. That's not the set that I picked up off the shelf. The set that I picked up off the shelf to try to buy was the new Pugio, Puj, Pujo, I'll learn how to pronounce that when I do the review. 9x8, 24 hour Le Mans hybrid hypercar, another decent size Lego Technic vehicle. This one, uh, 1700 pieces for $200, not the best price and everything but again a large size beautiful looking lego technic vehicle and i'm getting more and more into these things it feels like you get i don't know more lego set for your money at this point with technic stuff so i'm kind of i like this i'm more excited for this set i think than any of the star wars sets maybe besides the x-wing unfortunately for me though walmart is actually starting to street date some of their sets so i took this one to the register just to see if it would ring up it didn't i couldn't buy it got street dated they also were street dating lego uh disney minifigures who i realized i left off of my uh ranking list here but they're also coming out but again they're like mostly out early i have almost every single one of these little cmfs um including like the disney mickeys here and then my my youngest kid not like oh i guess my middle child now i have a third youngest child uh my second child he's almost four he stacked all of the base plates together because uh he's um cruel children are cruel Anyway, that Pujo, uh, I don't know how it's, someone t tell me how it's pronounced, who is from the UK. That's going on soon because I'm very excited about that. I don't think I'm going to pick it up on day one, but if I see it again in a Walmart or something, I may grab that one. Now let's fly through the rest of these sets that people care less about, myself included. We've got this Disney set that was revealed that I realized I put it on my ranking list. This one doesn't actually come out till June. So this one I'm going to put um, eventually, but not in May. It's in June. Uh, then the Little Mermaid little book set, and then a Big Little Mermaid big uh, seashell set. Um, there's These sets are cool, but uh, like I said, LEGO has to release something for everyone. They can't do all Star Wars sets in one month. So here's something for other people who are big Disney fans. It's a giant seashell. I don't, I don't see this one selling well, but um, I guess... We'll have to see how well Sally sells seashells by the seashores, by the Lego stores. This one's going in basically Duplo. It's the lowest of the low categories. The only sets that are worse than those sets are actual Duplo sets. Two of them are coming out. No need to look at those. And I know I always get parents commenting, my kids love Duplo. So do mine. My kids got tons of Duplo. I just, I'm talking about here what I'm buying personally. These are dad's Legos. There's dad's Legos. There's your Legos. It's a hard concept to explain to children. Lego also threw in some last minute late surprises here. Look at this, Tales of the Space Age. This was a Lego Ideas set. It's beautiful. This is the kind of thing that like, this will capture non-Lego fans who are fans of other things like space and beautiful art things. I love the depictions here, the different planetary things. I honestly, I think I will pick this up eventually. I just hope that in the instruction booklet, for that one, it has like information about like the depict, like each what each planet is meant to be depicting. In this case, that one's very cool, very beautiful. We'll get it eventually. And then last up, Lego's making a new video game, which you may have seen a lot of very popular influencers in the Lego space talking about recently because 2K flew them out to preview the video game. But this is a new open world racing games. I actually love racing games and Lego games. So we'll see how well this game actually plays. I will buy this. Uh, I don't know if I'm excited about it or not, but I'm excited whenever there's actual Lego vehicles in video games. And in this case, you see at least a couple of Speed Champions cars in the actual preview, the McLaren F1, and I think the McLaren Solus at least. There may be some other stuff. I haven't watched the previews that thoroughly, but it'll be exciting to drive Speed Champions cars in a virtual environment. But yeah, 2K drive, I will get that eventually probably not right away but whatever it's not lego so what am i going to review a video game 
I'm not going to do that. Anyway, that's my entire list of what I'm planning to buy for new sets coming out in May 2023. Let me know how that list compares to your own lists, what you're excited to buy if you're planning to head down to the Lego store on May 1st. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video both informative and watchable to some degree. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.